Namaste, I'm Arpana Lama from Kathmandu. I'm 23 years old, currently training myself in ballet and contemporary dance form. So ballet is one of the oldest dance form and is also basic for basic uh, for other dance form. The one you could say. Once you learn ballet basic uh, techniques or rule, it's very easy to do other dance form as such as uh, jazz, contemporary, and other ballroom dances. Once you learn all the technical st stuff and once the teacher thinks you're ready, uh, you also stand on point. Point is a wooden shoes which has like wood bay, wooden base, and you just have to stand on your toe. So it started uh, in Italy around 15th or 16th century. After it got expanded to many other places like France, Russia, and many many other places. I was in my high school, I was doing my studies, I was doing gymnastics, I was doing few workshops of other dance form, but I wasn't like trained in a specific dance form, uh, although I really wanted to. And then I got to know about this academy where I went to actually learn contemporary. But then because I was very flexible, my teacher told me that I'd be really good for ballet. And that is how I started. Uh, you have to learn all the technical stuff. I mean, you have to work on your feet, you have to work on your legs, you have to work on your upper body, you have to work on your body posture, you have to work on your head, and you, you have to work on your turnout. So it's a whole lot of thing, technical stuff. And after that, when you're technical stuff that you will always have to practice you always have to do that and after that when you're finally performing on stage or anywhere you have to work more on the theatrical aspect such as acting your facial expression how to work with partner how to work with work in a group in ballet you can't be like i will i'm gonna train for a year and then after i'm gonna stand on point this is a you know you have to work really hard you have to work for multiple hours for many years and then you stand on point if you miss like one day or if you miss two days it's very difficult to go back to your previous form especially about your turns or rooms or jumps or rooms. you have to practice every day um, at least five times a week otherwise what happens is you you are gonna lose that level so you have to have a level say to God he also wants you to give up. Before pandemic, I would say nice <laughs> because also the thing is we have many other income sources. So we can earn from teaching, we have we can earn from shows, and I think they also earn from reality shows, although I haven't been in any, but I've heard they earn from the uh, from the reality shows. And you can also earn from now from YouTube and everything, although you need to really work hard. But after a pandemic, everything has become very questionable. Everything is shut down and it's pretty much the same for everyone. But especially artists or like say, uh, it has been very uh, effective because now we have like completely no idea what we're gonna do. We still live in a male-dominated society and all, especially female dancers are like them, all men see is us is as uh, entertainers. So I think that's the mentality of people and the society we live in. <clears throat> I think that makes a huge, a huge difference uh, for Kamuru art form Kulagi. Especially to all the dancers who could not dance because of the family pressure or financial situation or many other reasons. I know it's very difficult but if you really want to do it and if you, uh, if you think you can do it, you just have to take that one step and trust me, 
nothing is better than living the life that you want. Um, the only thing that you can do is work on yourself, work on your skill, work on your willpower, and the universe has its own way of giving it back.